Okay, guys, first, before I get into the podcast, I just want to say I'm really sorry I didn't get this up Friday. This is, of course, going up Saturday morning. Um, I was getting ready and I was going to film and then Tom came home and he said, are you hungry? Do you want to go get something to eat? And I was like, yes, I am famished. I am famished. So we went to go get something to eat and the next thing you know, it got a little bit late. So I got a little late. Sorry. So, so forgive me for that. So here we go on to the podcast. Welcome back my friends to Twisted Stitches. How is everybody doing? I hope Everybody's doing really, really well, and I am so excited to be here today. I have so much stuff I want to share with you guys today. I am so excited. I am so happy to be back. It's been a little bit hectic. You know, I did the advent, the Halloween advent, and that was fun. I like doing the advent unboxings, and uh, I have a little exciting news uh, coming up. Excuse me. My hair is going to drive me nuts today. I washed it this afternoon and it's going to drive me batty <laughs> but I digress uh yeah I have been working so hard on a couple of things one thing like I've been seriously putting like 155 percent into this particular project that I am sharing with you today um and I am so excited I know uh, all right so I even took notes. I made sure I wrote down notes because I don't want to forget anything today. So, so let's just get on with the show and let's play everything by ear a little bit. I do have notes, but we're going to play it by ear. So, um, the first thing that, the first thing that I wanted to just get off the plate, I do not have any finished objects yet. No, no, I know, I know. You're probably like, really? You haven't finished the Syslove half circle shawl yet? No, no, I haven't. I've done in the last couple of weeks, I've done only like two rows. I mean, honestly, honestly, I, but I do have a really good excuse. So uh, the first thing that I have been like super working on, not as much, but I have been working on it because I have to get this done. You guys remember that I was talking about, I got hired to do a blanket and then it ended up being they wanted a queen size blanket and I was like, oh my gosh, we just went from, okay, it won't take me too long to, oh my gosh, how long is this going to take me? I know if I just sat down and worked on it and just steady worked on it, that I could probably get it done, I don't know, a week and a half, two weeks, maybe, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, it does move along pretty quickly because I am using the Bernat blanket. Uh, I'll show you. Well, actually, I'm using the Bernat Blanket, which I had purchased these when they were on sale at Joann's. And this was like, oh my goodness, I don't even remember when. But these were literally on sale for like $5.99 a ball. These here being the thick six weight, they really do move nicely and, and the projects get done pretty quickly. I am using on it a size M slash N, which is a nine millimeter. I think I went up a size. Let me see if I can see on here real quick. On the ball band on here, it says to use a US 11, which is an L or eight millimeters. So I went up a hook and I am glad I did because I will show you the progress here. But also at the same time, I had purchased, I don't even remember, 12 of these or something like that. And I was like, so you know how it is when you th you, you're pretty sure you're, you're like almost positive that 12 is going to be plenty. 12 is going to be plenty. But there's always that little thing eating at the back of your head like, no, you're not going to be enough. And now you're not going to be able to go find any Bernat blanket. And then you're going to be SOL and you're not going to be able to finish the project. And then you're going to have to get a hold of the people and say, I can't finish the project because I can't find any more Bernat blanket because I was stupid and didn't buy any extra. And that's the story of my life. I am always like that. I am always worried that I'm going to run out of yarn. So when I went looking, I did want to get a couple more uh, of these balls of yarn. And when I went looking, the Bernat blanket at the time had gone up again to like $7.99, $8.99 a ball. And I was like, ooh, do I really want to do that? No. So I started looking around. So at Joann's, they have their big twist and it is called Big Twist 
Can you see that? It would come up. Big twist cuddle. And this is the exact same yarn. I mean, look it. Look at yarn for yarn. Let me see if I can get the little end here. So yarn for yarn here. You can't tell the difference. You cannot tell. I don't, I, it's not enough. If you can, it's not enough of a difference to be able to tell. And at the time I purchased these for $4.99. They were on sale for $4.99. And um, these are the same thing. These are a six weight. There are 220 yards. There's 10.5 ounces. It's a 300 gram ball. And this here, a 10.5 ounce ball, 300 grams with 220 yards. I can almost guarantee that these two yarns are made like at the same exact factory, whatever, with just slapped a different label on it. Um, these are both 100% polyester. They feel the same, everything, 100%. The colors are exactly the same. No problems, no problems. So I did, like I said, I bought a couple more of these because I might not need them. Maybe I won't. So at the beginning of this project, I did the math. I, I used up a whole ball of this. I figured out how many rows and I um, figured out how many inches I had for the whole entire ball. And then that with the 12 balls should have been more than enough, but you know, I just had to get some more. So I am using this color black. So the, the whole blanket is going to be black. And I have one of this color and this is called sun soaked. And the reason being is they want like a design put on it. And the only thing I could think of to do is like top stitch with this to make the design, um, cross stitch, top stitch or something like that. So I think, I think it's going to work out. Um, but of course I got to get the, I've got to get this blanket done. This is something that's just been on my hook way too long. So let me show you. So let me show you how much I've gotten done of this blanket. Now it doesn't, excuse me, it doesn't look like a lot, but there are quite a few rows in here. There are quite a few rows in here. So let me show you. See? And this is a monster. It is, here is the one end, and all the way over here is the other end. This is, I believe this is 90, I believe this is 90 inches long, which is in the queen size range. So when I am done, I'm gonna have to take a picture of this, but you can see this thing is huge. And it is all, I'm using all single crochet, just back and forth single crocheting because I want a nice closed stitch so I can do the top stitching over this, you know, putting the design over this. And that's, that's what popped up in my head. Plus, plus this is a project that I can do 100% mindlessly. I don't even have to look. I can watch a movie. I could be at the park. The grandkids could be running around and I can keep an eye on the grandkids and work on this. I do not have to devote whatsoever any real attention to this. This is just literally a mind numbing, absolutely boring. I almost, I almost hate when I pick it up because I know it's like mind numbing, boring, but I, I have been picking this up because I am trying to get this completed. I want this done and out of my house before December. Uh, I know the guy has been patient with me and now that it's getting chillier down here in Florida, I'm thinking he's gonna want his blanket. You know, like when he got, he when he wanted it, it was getting towards the summer months and I was like, I doubt he's real worried about it. Plus, I explained to him I had other things going on. This particular blanket, I shot myself in the foot. I gave him a quote of not enough, way not enough. But to be on the fair side, the quote that I gave him was when I was sure this was only going to be at max a twin size blanket. It was going to be like a personal, this was supposed to be, at first this was supposed to be a personal twin size type blanket and then all of a sudden uh i get back to as the person gets back to me this is tom's acquaintance tom 
the guy saw me working on something and he says, oh, I'd like to have one. They did the arranging. I gave him a price based on Tom and him thinking that it was just going to be, you know, a personal size blanket. But then it turned into queen size. And so the yarn, basically, because I told the guy, I said, well, basically what you're paying me is just buying the yarn, really. In all honesty, the work I'm doing on this is basically for free. So, you know, that's another reason I just haven't really, my heart isn't into it. Because first of all, boring, boring. And second of all, I am basically just getting my yarn money back out of it. And I do want my yarn money back. But worst case scenario, worst case scenario, if the guy says, well, I don't want it anymore, I got a nice, squishy, warm blanket to put on my bed when I'm chilly. Something to wrap up in when I'm chilly. So, I don't care. Either way, I mean, I'd like to get reimbursed because, you know, I wasn't planning on making this. But, hey, whatever, whatever. <laughs> so, this is my first whip that I wanted to share with you today. I haven't shared with it. I haven't shared it with you. I don't remember the last time I shared it with you. But because in the last couple weeks I've been working on it... So I just wanted to put it out there to show you, I've been working, I've been doing lots and lots and lots of things. I'm a busy, busy, busy woman. I'm gonna tell you that. So let me shove this back in the bag and then we can get on with the second whip. The one I'm super excited to show you. Now, y'all remember I said I wanted to knit Riley a cardigan. So I went on the hunt. I went on the hunt for a cardigan pattern and uh, for a knitted cardigan pattern that was beginner friendly. So I went on Ravelry and I put in, cause I wanted a raglan and I wanted a top down and I wanted it to be a cardigan. I didn't want it a pullover because I wanted to practice more skills with knitting. I really wanted to push myself a little bit more than hats, scarves, shawls, washcloths. And cause that's all I've been doing really with the knitting. And I was like, it is time to dip my toes in the water. Stop being a chicken poop and just do it. So I found this pattern. This is called the Ballet or Ballet Cardigan. I thought that this was a really cute look. I really like the way it looks. Funny, funny little story. So I buy the pattern and I'll, I'll give you all the details in a minute. So I buy the pattern and I go over to my granddaughters, my, my daughters and my granddaughters and I said, Grandma's going to knit you a sweater, Riley. I said, you want Grandma to make you a sweater? And she goes, yeah. So I said to her, do you like this sweater, Riley? And she goes, no. And I went, oh my God, I bought this pattern. And I have the yarn and I'm ready to make it. And she tells me no. So I look at her and go, oh, what is she? she loves when I make her stuff. She gets excited. So I'm like, why does she not want me to make this pattern for her? And then it clicked. Look at the little girl's face. She looks really upset. She looks like she just pissed off. She's not having it. She just like, mom, I didn't want to do this today. Um, just, you know, it was one of those situations. So I was like, okay. I said, all right, well, grandma won't make you that one. I said to her, I said, so I said, well, what if grandma makes you this one? And she goes, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. So just little kids. Now she's going to be three on the 27th of this month. Little kids really, if they see something like this, I, I, I guess with her, she thought she was upset or not, you know, not happy about the whole cardigan jam going on right here. And she was Nope, she didn't want it. So I had to I had to show her this picture where the little girl is smiling and happy to have the cardigan on. Oh my gosh, I'm like, really, Riley? Really? And my daughter laughed. She was like, I was like, I can't blame her. Now this little girl, she is adorable. Oh my God. The mom is beautiful. So this particular pattern is designed by... Heidi May and her design company or uh, whatever on Ravelry is called is called the Velvet Eggcorn. So yeah, this pattern was $5.50 on Ravelry. This pattern's sizes go from a 
toddlers, one, two, all the way up to a 4X. This is a great buy for $5.50 where you are, have where it's so inclusive of sizes. I mean, you could easily make a mommy and me type cardigan situation going on. So let me show you what I've gotten done so far. Are you guys ready? There it is. I have already divided for the sleeves. I've just done the first row after dividing for the sleeves. And I added my two extra stitches for under the arm on each side. Um, my next row will be purling back. It is coming out so, so cute. Look at that. Look. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. It is so easy to understand. It is an easy, it is literally like word for word, exactly what you've got to do. No guessing. I have had no issues so far at all. I'm a little bit nervous about doing the hood, but I think I'll be all right. I'm just going to take it a little slow. Hopefully I get this done pretty soon because we're going to have more cooler weather coming here in Florida and I want this for her really soon. So that's why I haven't gotten a lot done because I want to have this done for her and it is so soft and squishy. Let me show you the yarn I'm using. Oh my gosh. This was yarn that I actually had bought for myself. When I saw this pattern, uh, this particular pattern uses a medium four weight yarn, an Aran weight yarn. So when I was looking for cardigans, I was looking for a DK weight cardigan. And I just wasn't like, I, I just didn't see any that, I didn't see any that really struck my fancy what I liked. So I clicked on this and I saw this one. I thought that it might've been a DK weight, but it wasn't, it was a four weight. So, I bought this particular yarn for a project for myself, but I'm sacrificing. I'm sacrificing it to the grandbaby. Uh, it's this one here. It's the Mandala Ombre in the colorway Felicity. It is, it's falling apart. This cake is just falling apart. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to have to roll this up. But um, it's, I don't know, it's called Mandala Ombre. But in all honesty, let me see if we can do it without blowing out. In all honesty, it doesn't really ombre. As you can see, as you can see, it doesn't really ombre. I mean, it's pretty, but it's not ombre. This is not ombre. This is striping. This yarn is definitely striping. But uh, the reason why, I didn't say what did I? So the reason why I was looking for a cardigan made with uh, DK weight is because I was going to use the, like the Mandala Baby yarns that I have. I was planning on using some of like the Mandala baby yarns, uh, you know, the three weight yarns. I wasn't really planning on using a four weight because, you know, we live in Florida, but it is knitted. So it's not as thick as if I was crocheting. So that is good. And it's nice. It feels really nice and squishy. I am super excited to get this finished. Um, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed. I'll have like the majority of it finished this week. I'm a slow knitter. I'm not super speedy yet. So um, it is taking me a little bit, you know, of course, if I crocheted, it'd be a lot quicker, but I really wanted to push myself and get out of the comfort zone and do something. And it is working out really good and I'm excited. No major boo-boos, nothing like that. So this is the progress keeper that Natalie from Natalie's Closet gave me. It's so cute. And uh, it has a little buddy, it has a little sister, a little chocolate ice cream cone to go with it. So I put the vanilla one on for now. And uh, so that way I can keep track of where I was the last time I showed it to you. And this, this pattern uses four weight yarn, like I said, and you need uh, US size seven and US size six, which is seven is 4.5 millimeter and six is four millimeter knitting needles. And you are going to need, um, just a couple of, uh, just a couple of, just a couple cable sizes. I mean, or, or DPNs because with the sleeves, I'm either going to have to do the sleeves using the magic loop method, or I'm going to have to use DPNs to make the sleeves. So I think I'm going to try using the magic loop. I think I'm going to try using the magic loop method. Um, I've used DPNs on hats. I didn't have any kind of problems with it, but I need to keep challenging myself and I haven't 
learned how to do that yet so uh it's time to do it so that has been everything i've been working on these last couple of weeks um i just everything is going to be done really really soon i am actually going to i know i'm gonna be getting that done soon i know i'm gonna be getting the sis love half circle shawl done really soon i hope anyway <laughs> and definitely gonna get that blanket done so and that's gonna be that'll be pretty cool when it's done i'm hoping that top stitching works out i'm hoping so those are all the whips I've been working on. I have been busting my butt these last couple of weeks. Seriously busting my butt. So I rewarded myself just a little bit, just a little bit. Now, the reason why I rewarded myself or the reason why I decided to buy something was because the first thing I'm going to show you, uh, this here came in the mail and I can't open it, open it yet, but I can see, you guys know what this is? This is, this is, bah, 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 bah. Oops. <laughs> I don't want to drop anything. So here is my 2021 Christmas Advent from Felicity Yarn Studios that I'm going to be sharing with you guys again this year. I hope you guys will like opening these up with me and watching every day like we did last year. I loved doing that last year and I loved all of the information that I looked up and went down my rabbit holes. And I think I'm gonna go down a few rabbit holes with this. So this yarn advent is all based on the paintings of Georgia O'Keeffe, who was known as the mother of modern, what did she say? Who was known as the mother of American modernism. And her paintings are lovely. If you look up Georgia O'Keeffe, look up her images, paintings, it's just gorgeous. So I'm just gonna quick show you just a couple. So right here are, is some of the artwork that she got her inspiration from. So we are gonna be doing that come December 1st. We're gonna be starting every day up until Christmas. So I'm excited to share this with you. So when this came in the mail, let me put everything back. Let me put everything back. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so when that came in the mail, Zoe was generous and she uh, gave me a coupon code that I was able to use to pick something up in her shop. I don't know, I was like, mm, should I buy something? I mean, I love her yarns. Her yarns are delicious. They are delicious, delectable, the whole nine yards. As a matter of fact, like, you know, like always, I'm gonna leave a link to her Etsy shop in my description box so you can click and go over there and take a look for yourself. She even has guys, she even has guys, a couple of the yarns that were in last year's advent the one uh called woman sitting at the loom and the one called haystacks and if you guys remember if you can kind of remember from last year the haystacks colorway was beautiful you guys flipped over it i did too so anyway just yeah so those are in her shop go take a look go take a look just just look just look and if you want to tell her that i sent you there that is just awesome i don't get anything for it but i like to be able to let zoe know that i am sharing and showing love just like we all do we all show tons of love in this fiber arts community so i just always try to share the love and if you guys buy something even better <laughs> but anyway so I was looking through her shop and I was like what do I want you know I mean yes I could have went and bought another hank a full hank of the one for woman uh woman sitting at the loom which is a beautiful beautiful colorway as a matter of fact still thinking about getting it um I could have bought another haystacks I could have bought I mean like any of them just gorgeous 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 so anyway I went as 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 I started scrolling down, I saw something and it said 10 minis, but it was dyed naturally. It was dyed using pecan shells and avocado, avocado and pecans, I think it said on there. And so this didn't use any of the mordant or anything like that. This is, you know, cause pecans have their own tannins. And so that allowed the color from the avocado and the pecans to get into the yarn and stick. 
uh, naturally. I don't know. I just thought it was just kind of cool. I like, I like that whole natural dyeing process and it's, it's just phenomenal. And so you guys, you got to see this. You got to see this. Here, let me open it up. I left it in the bag because I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it. Um, but these colors, look at them. So she had this listed. These are 10 20 gram mini hanks. Each hank has 92 yards, so that's 920 yards. It was a real good price and I got it discounted. This is on her this is on her sock yarn, which is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, and it is so squishy. But look at the colors, and it's like like a, a uh, this is a good ombre fade, and it just has all these like pretty like darker to like look at it. It's like this brownish tannish color, and then it goes into the look at that's like a pink brown pink. I just love, I just love the way this goes. And then you got a lighter sand color and just look at just this nice, like light shell pink beige color, real pretty, real pretty. And as always, anytime you order yarn from Zoe at Felicity Yarn Studio, she always includes a progress keeper, stitch marker progress. And look at that stone. I love it. I love it. And, and, and some yummy tea. So I got me some cold water infusion Bigelow Botanicals Cranberry Lime Honeysuckle. Oh, that sounds really, really good. So I guess you just use cold water. Yeah, infuse for eight minutes. Uh, infuse tea bag in cold water. Infuse for eight minutes. Squeeze bag and stir. And leave in for more flavor. But oh, doesn't honeysuckle, cranberry, and lime. Just so delicious. Oh, I cannot wait to try this. I am going to be trying this this week, and I will let you all know how this tastes. Because this is a big low tea. You could probably get this at the stores. I'm not sure. I haven't looked it up. So if you guys, I will let you know how this tastes, okay? If you guys, especially if you like, like, yummy flavored cold teas too, which I do. I like all kinds of teas. So anyway, look at this. This is just gorgeous. This is just gorgeous. This is some of the stuff that she has in her shop. Uh, I don't know if she has any more of these. I may have bought up the last of it, but all her colorways are just gorgeous. I have other videos where I have some enabling from Felicity Yarn Studio. It's one of my favorite Etsy shops. She's, I just love her work. She does. And she's, she speckles. She speckles. And I love me some speckles. So every time I look at her yarns, I'm like, oh, look at those speckles. <laughs> so... And this, I just thought this was so cool because I can either, I can use this by itself, but I'm thinking about taking some of the other yarns I have of hers. I have some like pinks and mauve colors with heavy speckling, heavy like dark brown specklings and stuff like that in it. And I'm thinking of combining that with these and kind of, you know, going back and forth and ombre out something. And I don't know what yet, but I'm thinking about doing something like that. That's going to be down the road. I've got a couple other things that I have to do. And besides this stuff that I got to get done, but I have a couple other things on the back burner that I will be working on pretty soon too. So I got to get that stuff done. But this is just something that, like I said, when I saw it, I was like, yeah, that's what popped in my head. I was like, yes, that's what I want to use this for. I want to use this just to add a little zhuzh in, in between, you know, break up the, the heavy speckling and just add a little, you know what I'm saying, guys? So that's why I picked this up. So this is the one thing I, I did. So I did get another little, little thing. It was expensive but it wasn't if this makes sense now y'all know I've been working on my knitting you know I've purchased here and there some on sale of like the clover takumi knitting needles which I'm having a lot of success with right now um they're the right kind of grip I don't things aren't dropping off the needles like with my uh with my chagus 
you know, they're a little slippery for me right now. Uh, so I've been picking up a few of these. These are the fixed circulars, you know, in, in various sizes. I've picked a lot of these up on sale. So I was on Joanne's website, whatever, yada, yada. I got something in the mail. I don't remember what it was, but there was a 60% off coupon off of, you know, regularly priced, off of, you know, regularly, bleh, I can't say it, regularly priced item in the store. And I don't know if y'all know, but sometimes Joanne's can be a real pain in the backside when it comes to their coupons because they're like oh you can only use this coupon on something that's regularly priced and you go like in the yarn section I don't know about by yours but by mine this is what happens I go to the yarn section and a few of them are marked on sale or whatever so I know don't get that so I'll go and find I don't know a yarn that's maybe more costly that okay, I'll, I'll get the more costly yarn and then I'll have the 50% off or whatever coupon and it'll turn that $12 ball of yarn down to six bucks and okay, I'll do something like that. And then it's, there's nowhere, it doesn't say sale. I bring it up to the cash register, it rings up and it's like, oh, it's on sale, you can't use that. And I'm like, really? You know, you could have listed that. So I decided because I've been using these, I've been using the fixed circulars, the Takumi Clover Takumis and having success. I decided with my 60% off coupon, I picked up an interchangeable set. The Takumi interchangeables. These are, these are pretty basic. I mean, there was no, there wasn't any stoppers. There wasn't any special things to it. It comes with you know, just the set of needles, um, 12 sizes ranging from a US 3, which is 3.25 to a US 15, which is 10 millimeters, which is a nice range. And it comes with five cords. One of the cords I have on here on the sweater, it was the 36 inch. And it also came with a 16 inch, a 24 inch, a 29 inch, and the 36 inch and the 48 inch, which that's a pretty nice uh, size range. The 48 inch I can use for the magic loop. Right now I have the 36 inch. Um, the 16 inch I can make hats with because these are the shorter needles. They're the four inch, so you can make the, the hats and stuff like that with it. So it, it was pretty nice and I got it for 60% off. So it came to $70. Uh, not too bad not too bad not for the the range of sizes basic but i am very happy with it i'm currently using the 4.5 us size 7 needles and everything's working out really good i'm not losing stitches all the time which when i was knitting with the chiagus just being a new knitter i just kept it, they would slide off i would pull it a little too hard and all my stitches came off and that's, you know, when you're new and you're a new knitter, that's like the scariest thing to happen. <laughs> I, for me, anyway, I'm like, no, don't lose a stitch. No, stay on the needle. No, <laughs> I'm constantly talking to my stitches when I, when I'm knitting. Yeah. So if you ever see me knitting, I'm, I'm always talking to them. I'm telling them, please don't fall off. Please don't mess up please don't because I can fix things now I'm doing a little bit better but I still don't want to deal with it I mean I don't know anyway anyhow so that's what I have guys that was my enabling I did I did purchase a couple of things and yeah and now I am on a cut off right now I'm still doing my monthly geological wonders which I will be doing a video pretty soon because it did come in the mail this last week uh, this past week and I did pick up another yarn of the month from Michelle at Ditastic um I I love her yarns um I was kind of sad when she wasn't doing it for a little while and I saw in her Etsy shop that she uh went back to it. I think she's been doing it for a few months I just needed to behave a little bit but our friend april from mason's creations yarns right now she's not dying any yarn and we all miss her a lot of us miss her i miss you april i hope you come back pretty soon but right now she's not dying any yarn she has things going on in her life that she just can't do it so um that's why right now i've got michelle at ditastic i 
bought her October Yarn of the Month and her November Yarn of the Month. I'll be opening up those uh, Yarn of the Months with you guys really soon. So that's it, guys. That's everything. I think I've talked about everything. Uh, my throat is dry. I am tired. I'm exhausted. You're probably tired of listening to me. You guys love you guys so much. You guys are the best. Thank you for always hanging out with me, sharing, liking, subscribing to my videos. I appreciate you guys very much. You guys have a marvelous, marvelous weekend. And I'll be talking to you guys really, really soon. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay creative. Bye.